what's the biggest problem with these Chevys? Right here. Tie rods. Not this one. This one's got big tie rods, man. Look at the size of that thing. That's an inch and a quarter Heim joint with a three quarter inch grade eight bolt. That thing's never gonna break. So it's probably a little bit overkill, but that's okay. When your wife is driving in the river bottom and she's following you and she's in four low and steps on the throttle, she's not thinking about tie rods, man. She's thinking about let's go. So you need to have let's go tie rods. That one right there. Anyway, today we are just going through and inspecting everything. Uh, There's a little bit of a rattle coming from the driver's side front and it turned out to be these caliper bracket bolts right there. So if anybody here is familiar with these things, they, uh, they don't look like this. They don't have dual piston calipers. I took all this stuff. Hey, I took all this stuff from a Duramax. <clears throat> Why did I do that? Well, I wanted the bigger rotor. It's a uh, half inch bigger in diameter. I wanted the dual piston caliper and um, that's really why I did it. So what did it take to do that? Well, believe it or not, the upper control arm bushing, or bushing, ball joint um, on the old body style Chevys is bigger than the Duramax upper ball joint. So I took my tapered reamer and we reamed this hole out slightly larger. Now, down here, the lower ball joint, the lower ball joint on a Duramax is actually smaller than an older one. So I put in a new Duramax ball joint into this um, older lower control arm. And the way I did that is I had to, I had to machine this lower ball joint cup uh, to accept this ball joint. So now I have dual piston calipers. Kind of neat. We also put on this Fox shock. Check that out in there. And that helped out tremendously. These, uh, these Chevy trucks, they have a torsion bar front suspension. And if you know anything about a torsion bar, it wants to unload really bad meaning it's it's twisted up so tight that when it go when your tire goes off a bump it wants to shoot that lower control arm out as hard as possible so your shock needs to have a bunch of rebound dampening to limit that energy as best as possible so that's what that has it has a lot of rebound dampening not too much compression dampening and it works really well on this vehicle so this tie rod has inch and a quarter heim joints on one end, on the other end, it has one ton Chevy truck ball joints, tie rod ends. And this is all uh, two inch DOM down to one and a half inch DOM. Both of them are quarter wall and that's a threaded bung. It's all just welded on there with a jam nut. And uh, it gives, one of them's left hand thread, the other one's right hand thread. And it gives me the ability to turn this and make the tie rod shorter or or longer so that way i can adjust the toe in of the truck so that's about it